Hey, welcome to another video update for the Belmont Middle and High School Building Committee. I'm Diane Miller and I am here today with our chair, Bill Lavallo, and with fellow committee member, Chris Messer. We're uh, going to be talking about the field house and this is going to be a really fun conversation for Chris um, because he is a former Belmont High School athlete as well as a current announcer for a lot of the high school boys and girls basketball uh, teams, right? So you know this space well. Um, and we're standing right now we're kind of looking down at the field house um, but the interesting thing about the field house is it's really the only component of the project that is still original from the old high school so let's start off maybe bill by talking about why we why? still have this <laughs> well first of all it has so many program elements that didn't really need to change but when we look at our partner with this which is the msba massachusetts school building authority they have rules when they're funding these projects and they said if you don't have, the, if you build something new, it can't be the size that we have today. We all know it's that's quite a, an asset, Chris, as you were saying earlier. Like, you don't see this around the state too much. Same with the pool. So the pool, uh, field house, you can't replicate that in the state anymore. The pool is not part of a, a, a school project anymore. So we have a pool, we just left it alone. So the idea of keeping this nucleus of the athletics and building around it uh, was what we came up with, two phases. And, and we worked around the field house, so that's how the school got cited, actually by the field house. Great stuff. And so, yeah, so that's how, you know, it served the community for 50 years, mm -hmm. and we're going to keep it for another 50 years. How's it been doing, Chris? Great stuff, Bill. Um, thank you for uh, inviting me today. Uh, this is great. The facility itself is second to none. It's done a great job for the, all the athletics, all our PE programs, our town programs. Um, youth basketball in particular, it's been one of the mainstays, get dropped off early in the morning and they stayed all day. Uh, we really, it's an asset to this town that uh, is second to none, it's run civic programs from college fairs to other town fairs and events, so really think it's an asset and continues to be in the future. So you talk about the next 50 years, it sounds like a very long time. Um, I wonder if we could talk about what some of the improvements are that we made to this space so that it will hopefully last for another 50. <laughs> yeah. yeah, high above Portside here. Yeah, this is great <laughs> stuff. Um, we have a new pool with it completely reconstructed, new locker rooms, um, with separate opportunities for the middle schoolers and the high schoolers to, uh, to dress and get ready for their classes. We have a new smaller venue, but reconditioned. We used to call it the small gym. Um, it's now up and ready, and volleyball is uh, kicking off right now. New bleachers, all ADA compliant, and ready to uh, serve the community when spectators arrive. And a lot of other um, other aspects of the space that are new. We have sprinkler systems. We have new flooring, Chris. Right, uh, uh, new flooring, uh, ventilation. A huge improvement to what was there before. Um, we have a back quarter from our field house now that goes directly Connected. out to the east parking lot, which is a main, will be the main entrance for, for all the uses. We have inserts for volleyball, we can see that, so they don't have to wait them now. And uh, we have curtains to separate the courts so you can have uh, multi-functions going on during school without uh, disruptions. Oh, there's so much, we painted everything white. You can see how bright it is right. compared to what it was. We took the old paneling from that small gym out and put, uh, painted it white. And, uh, and then in the pool, all new tile. And, you know, the pool itself is the only thing that we retain, right. the actual basin. It was pretty remarkable, too, during construction yeah. to walk through the site, and there was our yeah. <laughs> one little hole in the oh, ground. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but then you see the, the new tile on the floor and into the pool. We have a new gutter system that reduces wave action and, and pulls that chloramine gases away. Um, so a lot of uh, improvements just to make this feel like it's part of another 50 years of our community. Yeah, and all of these renovations happened while this space was still being used, right? So the athletics programs didn't stop, and I know that was a big worry yeah. and, and a big challenge. So how did we accomplish that? Yeah, over the last four years, and the summer breaks, uh, the, the 
crews would hit this place hard, um, going through each section. Renovations, if anyone has ever done a renovation, knows that it's not easy work. And this, this section of the, and getting it cohesive and to tie in uh, was a big achievement. And we, and we can now use it this coming fall for all classes, seven through 12. Yeah, a couple of big things. We had the small gym that was temporarily transformed into the locker room because the locker room effort took way more than a summer, if you remember, it was a whole year. So uh, I have to say at this point, we have to really thank the school department, the athletic departments, because the burden was on them to really work with us. And it was a great collaborative effort. And we couldn't have gotten through these four years, like you said, Chris, on and off, on and off, without their help. Moving stuff in, moving it in trailer. Yes. We talked about storage. Um, so it's been, it's been quite an effort, but I'm so proud of it. And, and so the middle school is opening soon, uh, this fall, and so the middle school students are also then going to be using the field house. So how is that going to work between the high school and the middle school is sharing this Yeah, great I, space? I think with uh, the small gym area, the dividers that were been installed, you're going to have an opportunity to be anywhere between six uh, and four separations for PE classes. Uh, their own sets of locker areas, that's so, which is yeah. big. You know, yeah, privacy is important, um, and, and they, it was built that way to uh, to accommodate all four, all uh, six grades. Great, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I think we're going to walk around and look at some of these spaces, and uh, then our next video will be coming soon. We're going to be talking about the exterior planting. So, thank you for joining us, uh, Belmont Middle and High School Billingley in the Fieldhouse.